Good morning. My name is Akesh Gupta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation, I will share with you some of the features which are generated by using Ironspeed Designer against a standard database. To begin with, we have a sample application, Intro to Ironspeed, which we have just generated using standard Ironspeed Designer out of the box by pointing it to the standard Southwind database. And what we have achieved here is an application which is basically showing us the ability to add, edit, view, and search customers as well as all related tables. To begin with, let's focus on a customer's entity. For customers, we have a show customers page which is able to show us customers where we can do searching. In this example, I can search by partially typing in the name of the customer ID or a company name. So in case we just type in the word horn and press the button go, the system has already narrowed down my searches by any customer whose company name, contact name, or customer ID begins with or contains the word horn. As a matter of fact, I can search for something else by typing in a word like hardy. And of course, the system has narrowed down in this case to a contact, Thomas Hardy. Of course, as you are searching and uh, going through the different uh, criteria, sometimes rather than cleaning, clearing every single setting, we have, we have a button by the name Reset Filters, which resets the system back to square one very quickly. In addition, the filtering capabilities that come with RSP Designer out of the box are a great asset. In this case, in case we want to narrow down by company name, system shows you all unique companies. In case we want to narrow down by country, system can show you countries. And in case you want to narrow down by city, you can do the same thing. Not only this is possible, but if ca in case you select one country, in this case, let's select uh, Italy, the other dropdowns are already pre-filtered to show only the possible values. And we are quickly able to narrow down to a single record. So by using cascading type filter, where once you select one value from a filter, the other drop-down filter values automatically show you only the possible values along with the data that is shown at the bottom, which is already filtered by pre-selected filter values. It is very easy in a few clicks to reach to your search set. Once you have the records created, of course, we can filter them here and we can narrow down to, say, only one country by the name Brazil. The ability to create a PDF file, which is just clicking on the PDF icon and opening up the PDF file that comes with the basic RSPeed feature, automatically displays you all the columns which are shown on the screen and filtered results set in a PDF format. Not only that, we can click on the Word document and open the data in a Word file where it can be manipulated or adjusted as the need may be. Then finally, the CSV file or the Excel where we can take the data, cut and paste, whatever you want. So as you can see, we are really playing with the real Excel in which we can manipulate the data, move it around, use it for other things. And of course, if you're using a mail merge feature, we can definitely go and pick our standard CSV files. The ability to export data quickly in the four standard formats, namely PDF, Word, Excel, and CSV is a great asset. And at any given time, we can reset the search results or filter results. Not only that, we can adjust the page size. So if I would like to have my page size as five, my screen will now automatically adjust in a screen size of five lines per page. I have an ability to add a new customer. I can click on the add, click on save. Not only can I add the customer, any tables which are related, in this case, we have an order table, we can even start up an order. If I want, I can click on an edit icon for a particular customer to edit that customer as well as review all the other related records like orders. In this particular example, as you can see, we have a customer which we can edit. Not only that, we have an order which we can look and edit at any given time in one transaction. Then we already have a copy page in which case, uh, or a copy button in which case, if you are trying to make a customer which is almost the same as an existing customer, all you have to do is click on the copy record, system automatically pre-fills only the parent entity, and you're all set to go in a much quicker format than manually typing every single field. 
In addition of a customer standard show table page, system can also design show table pages which show you the related records simultaneously in the same row. In this particular example, let's click on show customer number two. This is the same layout except in addition to the customer information, we are now displaying all the related information for one or two tables as you design in RSP Designer. So in this particular example, we are showing you the customer as well as all related orders for that particular customer. Then we have an search and edit customers. This is a screen where the system allows you to pick some search or filtering criteria. And if you notice here, you're allowed to pick more than one city in this particular case by pressing the shift key or sorry, the control key. And what we have done is we have narrowed down all of our customers to be only focused on a particular city or a particular company or whatever criteria may be. And by clicking on the go button, we are now looking at the records more in a form view format where I see my customers up top, I see my orders at the bottom because they are related and I can make some changes and just click on the next button. This allows me to automatically save the data which will be a great help if you are doing bulk edit for multiple records based on a criteria. So having the ability to do bulk editing is a great feature. In addition, we also have web reports. Web reports is a customized layout in which you don't have a lot of extra frills on top and bottom. So this way the output looks more something more or less like something that you can print right out of the box. It's a clear crisp representation of the data that you would like to print out in an easy to read format. In addition, let's look at for example suppliers. Another great feature of this product out of the box is the import facility. Say for example, you are interested in importing some bulk data. You have that bulk data visible to you in a CSV format or an Excel format, or you have exported that from some other data source. So in this case, if I click on suppliers and I click on import data icon, which is right here, a screen pops up, which will ask me, please take me to the file that you would like to import. In this case, we already have prepared a file by the name new suppliers, Excel file. I can double click on it and I can say it's an Excel file. And by default, sheet one is the first sheet, but in case the sheet name is different than sheet one, you can manually type in here. And as you can see, you can import from Access, Access Database, ASCII comma, separated values, which is the CSV or the tab delimited file. I can click on next. The system will now read the Excel file that we just pointed out. And of course, as you can see, this was my data right here, the first three rows. And system is asking me, which columns would you like me to import? It tries to match the name, exact the same names. And in this particular case, since my phone and fax are the only fields which found exact match, it automatically assigned. And the other three fields, it was assuming it will not be importing, but we have chosen them to be imported as well. And for each selected field, the column name in which the data has to be substituted has to be selected. So in this particular case, I will pick here a contact name, I will pick here a company name, and I will pick here a title. As you can notice, because of a space between the uh, contact and title versus no space in the Excel file, system did not find exact match. Had the names been the same, it would be an exact match. In addition, since my first row in my Excel file is the header row, I have my selected icon or selected checkbox here that your data has a header row. All you have to do is map up the fields, select which columns you want to bring in and click import. As you can see in this particular case, we are trying to bring in data from Microsoft and Oracle for the company names, with the names as John Doe and Bob Smith. When I click on import, system automatically notifies me two records were successfully imported and if there was any error with any record, it tells me how many records were skipped. And I'm back to my suppliers table in which I can now search for Microsoft, and I will find my new supplier that I just created, as well as Oracle. So as you can see, Iron Speed in merely five minutes can generate a pretty usable application out of the box by just pointing it to the database 
of your choice. RSPeed supports Access, SQL, Oracle, as well as MySQL database. I hope you enjoyed this video, which clearly demonstrates the capabilities of RSP Designer. Thanks a lot and keep watching.